Alert meteorologist Dave Turley and we are taking a live view now here over the downtown area from our Velmark sky cam seeing partly cloudy skies and we're going to keep it generally partly to mostly cloudy here in the next couple of hours. A few more clouds along the coast, but we're not really seeing any rain. We're going to keep that uh, dry and warm and muggy as we head through the overnight heading into tomorrow. A little bit more cloud cover for Wednesday. We'll call it mostly cloudy, but still similar temperatures, upper 80s to low 90s. Rain chance 10% and 20% heading on into our Thursday. So again, for the rest of this evening, we are going to keep that rain chance only at 10%, mainly along and just west of Interstate 95. It should be gone by that 8 o'clock hour and we dry overnight. And look at those temperatures still in the mid 70s at midnight and low 70s expected when you wake up on your Wednesday morning. So there's our fair and fair first alert live radar. We had a few little light showers. McIntosh, Sir Wayne, Long and Liberty County. Not seeing anything as of right now. But we are still seeing some of those temperatures into the 90s inland. Vidalia and Sylvania both at 91 degrees. Even though it's hotter inland, we have muggier conditions here along the coast with dew points running into the mid 70s in Hinesville, also in Rankin, low 70s here into Jessup. So that means when you combine the air temperature with those higher dew points, it actually feels a little bit hotter down in Hinesville at 94. Jessup feels like 92. Well, it feels a little bit cooler actually over in Vidalia now with those dew points only in the 50s. So what's the difference? Well, we have a front of boundary kind of stationary here, stretching from the low country back down towards Valdosta. If you are south of that front muggier, a little bit more cloud cover west and north of that front. Well, you have a little bit more sunshine and a little bit lower humidity. That front should sag a little bit further down to our south in here tonight, keeping us nice and quiet. Just a slight chance for an afternoon shower and storm tomorrow and again on Thursday as high pressure to our north will be the dominant weather feature. So very seasonable temperatures. We're going to start out with some mid to upper 60s inland, but a lot of lower 70s along the coast. So that morning commute looks to be good with a lot of uh, dry weather and very warm temperatures out there, low 70s. And there's a look at the temps tomorrow. We're going to warm up to the upper 80s, but those feels like temperatures will be back into the low 90s. Your first alert, seven day forecast. Well, keeps it in the upper 80s on Thursday, low to mid 90s coming up on our Friday with a very low rain chance. Our hottest day actually coming up on Saturday. We're looking at mid to some upper 90s expected before a little bit of a cool down there on Sunday in the low 90s, upper 80s with a 30% chance for afternoon storms Monday and Tuesday.